Welcome to our second tutorial in our Getting Started with Lightroom series. Today we're going to talk about metadata and setting up a metadata preset. Now the reason I'm doing this before I show you how to import photos into Lightroom is because when you do begin to import your images into Lightroom, you'll be given an option to apply a metadata preset to those images that you're bringing in. Now if you've never worked with metadata before, Metadata basically allows you to add additional information and embed it to your photos, things such as copyright information or contact information for yourself as the photographer, and it's especially useful within Lightroom to have a preset set up with that information handy. That way when you bring images in, you can just apply the preset and you don't have to go through each individual image and add the metadata that way. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to set up a preset by going to the metadata menu in Lightroom on the top menu bar. And when you click on that, you will scroll down to edit metadata presets. Now a dialog box is going to open here and there's going to be some options. The first thing I recommend you doing is click on the button that says check none at the bottom of the window. And that will uncheck any of these little check boxes which may have been selected by default. So to set up a preset for the metadata copyright info that we're going to put, what we do is just go down to this section that says IPTC copyright, and we're going to fill in some information here. So under copyright, just insert the words copyright with the copyright symbol, and on the Mac, you hold down Option and press G, or on the PC, you hold down the Alt key while typing in 0169 on the keypad and holding down the Alt key the whole time. So we're going to put in copyright with the copyright symbol, 2009, and then put your name as well. And on the next option down the list, we have a drop-down menu with two choices for either copyrighted or public domain. So we're going to select copyrighted. And for rights usage terms, you can just put a small usage term in here. So we'll say no reproduction without prior written consent. And under copyright info URL, if you host your own website or you have your own web gallery, it's a good idea to create a single page on your website that contains some more detailed information about the copyright of your images and perhaps some terms of usage for your images as well. And if you do have such a page, that's where you would put the URL so people could easily find it. And the last thing I recommend doing when creating a basic copyright metadata preset is to fill in just under the next section here, under IPTC Creator, fill in your name or your company's name if you're shooting on behalf of a company. So we'll put in my name. And at the very least, you'll want to fill in the Creator email field, which is down here. Now you could put in other information if you wanted to put your address or phone number in there, but I find it's a good idea to have at least these two pieces of information. That way if your images are out there on the web and somebody does see it and they would like to use it commercially, they can view the metadata for your image and find a way to easily get a hold of you and contact you. So once you filled in this information, it's pretty much finished at this point. What we have to do is click done and we're going to save this preset. So just click on Save As and give it an appropriate name. We're just going to call this Basic Copyright for 2009. Click on Create. And now that metadata preset has been saved. And it's actually saved in your Lightroom folder where your main Lightroom program is located. And when you begin to start importing photos into Lightroom, when you're given the option to apply a metadata preset, you can just apply this one that we just made right now, and it just adds that copyright info to your images. Makes things a lot more smooth when you're importing photos and you don't have to go back and do it later individually. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will actually show you how to start bringing your photos into Lightroom and the different options that you're given when you're importing images. That's all for now, and we'll see you on the next tutorial.